Hey everyone, welcome back. So in previous video, we have seen uh, ACR, AKS, how to attach, how to detach, what are the impacts. Uh, even we have seen the instance running in the VMSS, VMSS uh, it, which gets created to for AKS, of course, in their own resource group. So that's the basic thing that we have already seen. And in today's video, we are going to talk about scalability of the application, which is still running on our pods. Uh, if I do kubectl get pods, you'll see these two pods are running back and front. Cool. Now we are going to scale. We are going to see a few things in the scalability and then we'll see the auto scale. How can we configure the auto scale pods? So for now it's uh, manual and in the in maybe in this video or maybe next we'll do auto scale as well. All right. So <clears throat> it's very, very simple. If you do the imperative way, kubectl scale, uh, hyphen hyphen replicas. Now here we can decide how many replicas we need for the for the ports for particular deployment. For example, right now we have two deployment back and front. Let's make the replicas. Let's suppose four uh, for the deployment. Uh, Azure vote front. Okay, so this will create four replicas as it says deployment front scaled. If I do kubectl get pods, we should have one for the back and four for the front. You can see all the four are running well. Now, what, what's this is the imperative way. There is a declarative way. The best way to do it by 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 keeping everything intact in your YAML file. That's that's the way. That's the way it is for everything now, right? Uh, even if you do ISC for your infrastructure, we do everything through the code or through the file. Maybe it's a Terraform file or maybe it's Ansible. Doesn't matter. What I meant to say, you should have uh, one source of truth. Right now. It is four replicas, but it's not showing in the, uh, if I do cat in the YAML file on which we are working right now, or this deployment is created with that uh, YAML file, right? If you see oh, what I'm doing, it's front. I go up, there is only one replica, but the four are running. If you see for the back, there is one replica. So it's it's uh, it's not like the what is running is not matching what we have in the file. So it's always good to do any kind of modification uh, through the YAML file. Okay. One more thing I'm gonna show you. Let me clear this out. Let me get into the YAML file. Okay. If I get into the YAML file, all right. Uh, the front we have already made four replicas for the pod we're working on the back now let me make the replicas to three for uh deployment azure vote back all right i'm making it three getting out of the file now if i run kubectl apply before i apply See, I have changed the YAML file, but if I do kubectl get ports, what do you think the output would be? If you are saying it would be same, there would be no intact what we did in the pre, what it was in the previous get ports command. So you are correct. Uh, nothing is changed because we have not applied the changes what we made in the file. So I hit the kubectl get pods command. We should have four for the front, one for the back. There we go. But now if I do kubectl apply hyphen f and give the file, now what do you think would be the reply of uh, get pods? As you can see, the back is configured. Uh, deployment for the back is configured. 
there is no issue with the service we have we have not touched the service so it is unchanged uh, for front is configured you see it says for the front is configured now what do you think is configured for the front is it the four that we did the imperative way like replicas is equal to four or would that be because in the yaml file it was one so if your guess is one then you're correct because four we did the imperative way it was there uh, on the on the system but it was not there in the yaml but when we made the replica three for the back deployment, we ran the YAML file. So it again changed or remove all the extra pods in the, in the front because as we have file, it is only one, right? So let's see what the <clears throat> conclusion we are making out of it is correct or not. There we go. So what we were thinking, the conclusion we were making is correct. There is only one front. The four we have created through imperative way has gone because we ran the apply YAML file in the YAML, it was only one. So this is the very simple uh, manual way of increasing the replicas. But as we know, as per the application modernization, the world of automation and DevOps, uh, we can do manual, manual scaling in certain cases, but it is always recommended if we can get into auto scaling it is more like we need not to sit wait for alerts or things like that to scale it but we will configure some kind of uh, a trigger once the trigger hits it will increase or decrease the pods just like we have nodes running on vmss as soon as uh, if we if we configure VMSs as auto scaling, it will increase or decrease the nodes as per the settings or the condition that you have applied or configured. So uh, I think we'll see auto scaling in the next video. Well, thank you for watching and you have a good day. Bye-bye.